to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share with you like an everyday beauty routine for like non-makeup girls because I'm not a makeup artist out here or professional by any means. Some of the girls on YouTube like their skills are so amazing but it's like in the morning I do not have time to be doing all that. Like I love you Desi and Shayla their makeup is so amazing but I'm just not at that level and I never have the time to do my makeup like that in the morning anyhow. So I kind of wanted to share with you what I do to get ready and how I um, create like my everyday <laughs> natural makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to jump right into it. The first step is going to be to moisturize your face. So I'm going to moisturize with my Cetaphil um, moisturizing cream. I really like this stuff because I have eczema so in the fall and winter my skin tends to have more dry patches so I prefer to use this because I feel like it um, helps to hydrate those dry areas and balance out the oily areas of my skin and I've used this for years so during the fall and winter I do prefer to use this um, underneath my makeup. And I still use my gel moisturizers, but I usually use them mostly in like spring and summer. And those are a favorite too. So usually it's either that or I have like the gel moisturizer that I'm using. So once our skin is nice and moisturized, um, I like to go in with a primer. So the primer that I'm using today is my Tarte um, Clean Sleep Timeless Smoothing Primer. And I love this stuff. Like you can see, it's time for me to get a new one. So I really just like to prime my nose area and like right under my under eye. Because this will have um, help my foundation and concealer go on really smooth in those areas. And since it's like fall now, well I guess technically we have like two days left to summer. Um... I like to use this primer because it gives me like a more matte finish to my makeup and I like how it smooths out my foundation. So once I apply my primer, I like to let that sit for a little bit. So we're going to just move into eyebrows. So right now, um, I've been using the ColourPop um, gel. Um, eyebrow I mean what is what is it <laughs> gel eyebrow yeah the brow color from Colourpop and I'm using the color black and brown so this is what I've been using lately um I wasn't really like a fan of like kind of the gels before I used to really just be into like eyebrow pencils and things like that but I tried this and I really like it so I'm just using this like kind of flat top brush from Julia's Place and I'm just gonna dip it right in the center of my pod and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows so I'll start in here so once I'm done with that make sure if you guys do get these color pot products that you Close them back up tight once you're done because they will dry out quick if you don't. Um, so then I'm just going to go ahead with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to just, you know, clean up the under part of my eyebrow. I'm using this brush that's like from Sephora. I don't know. I have got, you know, those little packages, like little makeup sets that they sell around like the holidays and stuff like that. They, that's where I got this from. Um... So I'm just gonna focus right, well, that was kind of a lot, right underneath my brow. And then I'm also gonna do the very edge on top. That's kind of like how I like to do it, you know? So for 
me, I'm like satisfied with my brows. I like that. I'm like, okay, that's good. We good. <laughs> we good in the hood. Um, so now I'm going to move into my foundation. So, so today, I'm going to go ahead and move into my foundation. Today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I'm in the color 520. I'm going to apply this with my fingers. finish um i like to apply initially using my fingers just because it helps to warm up to the skin and i feel like it blends better and it like it looks better but you can use a makeup brush and a beauty blender as well but like this is like how i like to apply this foundation and it depends on the foundation because i like to apply this one on my fingers as well as like my nars that i have that i really love um with my fingers as well and then I might just go back in with the beauty blender after you know I initially kind of do it all with my fingers and it can take a little bit more time but I think I like the finish of it better so I don't mind taking this extra couple of minutes to use my fingers so next I'm gonna go on with my concealer and today I'm using my NARS um, radiant creamy concealer which is like my favorite it's like empty. I think I have, I have like two of these things right here. This one's... Let's try that again. I don't know what it is, but like my skin has been acting crazy with the change of the season. So, I don't know, it's been, I already have sensitive skin, but it's been super sensitive. So, I've been trying to just stick to stuff that I always use and not try out new products, which is hard. So, I love trying out new things and finding new things to review for you guys and see what works and doesn't. But sometimes, I do have to put the health of my skin ahead of, you know, trying out new beauty products. I really want to, like, get Fenty Beauty and stuff like that, but I'm a little nervous because my skin's acting weird. So, I don't want to try anything new on it at the moment um, until it, like, settles back down. But I am excited to, like, get that collection. And I'm, like, out of some of my stuff, as you guys can see. I was struggling heavy to get some concealer out of here, so... I definitely need to make a trip to Sephora, so um, I'm thinking about when I'm doing that, just picking up the Fenty Beauty stuff at that time too. I think it's in Sephora, and that way um, I can like maybe do like a haul of like what I got from Sephora that day. I feel like I like watching Sephora haul, so I kind of would think I would like, and I would like, I think I would enjoy like filming one. Um, right now, I'm just going to set my under eyes with my Sasha Buttercup powder, which I'm also running low on. Um, I don't know. Lately, I've been going back to this powder. I was, like, really using my Laura Mercier a lot. Um, but lately, I've been going back to this one, and I, like, I still really love this powder. So I've just been using this. I don't know. So some days, you're just like, I want to use this product. I want to use that one. You know, switch it up. I haven't been baking 
Bad Mepe in a while. I know that was kind of a lot of powder, but I need it. Oh, I feel like I need it. Um, so now that I went ahead and did that, I'm going to, um, I'm almost done, I think. I'm going to just go ahead and set my entire face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm in the color Dark Deepest. So I'm using this like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a little pack brush, I don't, I don't know. From Juvia's Place, um, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and um, just pat that around my skin. And to not bounce back. Mm, mm, mm. You know you get someone stuck in your head and you're just wondering like how did that song even get stuck in your head? That's me right now. That's me. contour kit and I'm using the color Karab right here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, contour my face with it. So next I'm gonna go ahead and with my mascara I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced. I'm just gonna apply like two coats of this, you know? Okay, okay, girl! Okay. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use my Telescopic Carbon Black by L'Oreal. Uh, mascara. So then I'm gonna go on with my highlight because you know the look's not done without a highlight. So I'm using um, Topaz by Becca Cosmetics to go ahead and highlight. So. So I'm going to be using Colourpop's Grunge, which is like this matte lippy that I love. It has like this mauve brownish tone going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And over that, I'm going to be using um, Soul by Coloured Rain, which is another favorite lippy of mine. Um, I feel like it just looks nice on all skin tones and that you can wear it year round. So I'm just going to apply that like right in the center and then just brush it out. watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it's something that's relatable to you and that it wasn't like too much because I, I i went a little extra with the contour but you know some days it's just like that but i hope you guys enjoy it and thank you for checking out this video if you're not subscribed please make sure to subscribe tell your friends if you love my content if you guys want more from me you can always head over to my blog because that gets updated on a weekly basis as well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.